I um I wasn't a believer when God gave me this book. I didn't know this book was in the Bible. I was going through uh, um, I was going through and I'm going to pray before we get into the book. But I want to say this. I was going through very bad marriage at that time. Okay. And I, the Lord gave me a vision one night. Mm -hmm. In that vision, I was there standing back, it seemed like biblical times. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who the man was. I always said it was Paul. Mm -hmm. I tried to find the answer with everybody. But this year, the Lord said it's been 39 going on 40 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've never ministered from the book. You read through it. But you never asked me, why did I give you that vision? Okay. So I'm lying there and I wake up and I answer standing there in the midst of the people standing there. Mm -hmm. And I said, Colossians. Okay. When I said Colossians, I woke up. Mm -hmm. I went to work to the office that next day. I was nine months pregnant with Isaac. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that he's here this morning. And I told him, I said, I had said I would... I wouldn't ask you. I've told you. I've talked to you all about the Lord. I want you to come on your own. Yes, but the Holy Spirit told me, tell him. You never share it with him. Mm -hmm. And if he's led to come, come. And I said, Lord, I'm not telling nobody because it's all about what you. I feel you've given me. Amen. But sitting there just now, he said to share it. So anyway, mm -hmm. in the office, I'm telling everyone about this dream. Mm -hmm. And... A minister's son, Willie Williams, passed off the store, and he came back. I told him the most thing that stood out in that dream was God said to bear, it was about bearing fruit, and it's verse number six in chapter one. And he joked, he said, well, you're doing that. And the baby was sticking out. He said, because you're very pregnant. So everybody kind of laughed. But it stayed in my spirit. Why did God give me that book? And this year, mm -hmm. the Lord spoke to me in my heart. Yeah. It's time for you to see what I was trying to say to you okay. through this book. Okay. So let's go before the throne of God. Yes, you Father God, yes, Lord. we thank you for your presence this you, morning. Yes. And we thank you, Lord, that you are omniscient. You are all-knowing, God. Yes, yes, Lord. And, Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit. Bless us. And we ask him this morning mm -hmm. to oversee the teaching this morning yes, yes, and to speak to our speak, hearts Lord, this Lord. morning. Yes, speak to your mm -hmm. teacher this morning. Yes, and you yes. do and speak and, and move however you yes, deem yes, fit Lord. this morning speak, in our services. Mm -hmm. For it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So in going to the book of Colossians, the book of Colossians is actually dealing, Paul was dealing then with what we are facing today. In Colossians, false teachers have started to sink, it's called sink, Syncretic, um, syncretistic. They were bringing in false teachings, but they were bringing it in and attaching it to Christianity. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they hadn't actually done it in the Colossians church, mm -hmm. but they knew that these people go everywhere. Yeah. So it hadn't just started in the United States that we have the gospel of con uh, inclusion. Mm -hmm. We have the progressive mm -hmm. gospel. Yeah. We have all of this. They won't go and start their own religion, but they somehow sink it. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it syncretism. Yeah. They try to blend it in with Christianity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you are young people, uh, like a millennia or mm -hmm. what have you, mm -hmm. You get confused and you start thinking, well, they're talking about Jesus. Right. They're talking about some scriptures. So perhaps this is Christianity. Mm -hmm. And then you would think maybe Christianity is too lenient or turn into a, a proving too many things that are ungodly. Mm -hmm. But they bring it all back. Mm -hmm. So they want to bring everything back and connect it with us. Yes. So Paul is in jail right now okay. writing this letter. This is, uh, in jail He's in jail. Perhaps in jail. 
Many don't think Paul ever made it to Colossians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, but Paul knew his identity, and that's the title of this message, okay. The Question of Identity. I want to talk about how important doctrine is this morning. That's something that the church needs to know. With the question of identity, mm -hmm. I'm mindful of a book, it's been a while, mm -hmm. I've heard of, I didn't get to read all of it, yes. but the book Roots. You all remember the movie Roots? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the book, the end of that uh, first chapter, mm -hmm. Omaro comes out with his son. I think it's Alex Haley's family yes. history. And what he does, he comes out and shows a ritual that this tribe practices, they go through. Some of you may remember if you got to watch the movie. He came, he came out with his son, a sixth generation I believe it was, uh, Kuta Kente, everybody knew Kuta Kente. But he comes out before the assembly with the baby uh -huh. in his hand. Mm -hmm. And while he got the baby in his arm, he comes to stand beside his wife. Mm -hmm. He leans down and whispers mm -hmm. in the baby's ear yeah. one time. Mm -hmm. He leans down and whispers in the baby's ear mm -hmm. two times. Okay. He leaned down and whispers in the baby's ear. Mm -hmm. What he had done those three times, he told the baby his name for the first time. Okay, because that tribal felt like you should be the first to know who you are. Okay, right. A question of identity. Okay. Then later he comes out mm -hmm. and he holds the baby up to heaven yes, right. yes. and tells him, behold, mm -hmm. the greatest one mm -hmm. other than you. Mm -hmm. That was God. Yeah. Okay. Paul have heard about the Christians in Colossians. Yes. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, Paul had, um, we're talking about COVID and all of the things in the U.S. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know in the Bible, churches began in houses? Yes. Mm -hmm. This church was meeting uh -huh. in the house of a minister by the name of Epaphras. Mm -hmm. You've all heard of Philemon, mm -hmm. the rich man, that had a slave Onesimus. That's right. Right. They were in Colossian church met in their house. Mm -hmm. So Paul has a relationship mm -hmm. because the gospel message comes from God. That's right. Amen. And what Paul writes to the, the, um, the Colossians, mm -hmm. we're going to look at verses 1 through 6. Okay. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. by the will of God, mm -hmm. and Timothy is our brother, mm -hmm. to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae. Mm -hmm. Grace be unto you, and peace from God our mm -hmm. Father, mm -hmm. and the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, mm -hmm. since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which you have to all the saints, for the hope that is laid up for you in heaven, mm -hmm. whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, yes, which is come unto you as it is in all the world, mm -hmm and bring it forth fruit, fruit. Yes. as it does also in, in, you, in you, since mm -hmm. the day ye heard of it yes. and knew the grace of God in, in truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you notice all Paul's letters, he began by most of them saying, Paul, an apostle. Mm -hmm. I want to explain to you, Paul wasn't telling you his ecclesiastical right. office. Mm -hmm. Right. What Paul was telling you yes. is that I have received a commission mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from God, mm -hmm. and this commission I received from God, I received with the message mm -hmm. from God. Right. And the message that he gave me was to bring it to the people mm -hmm. and establish the word of God mm -hmm. along with the other New Testament writers. Right. Right. And 
not only were the apostles commissioned and sent with a message from God, mm -hmm. but they were sent mm -hmm. as a conduit where God was going to give them the complete, yes. mm -hmm. the completed revelation right. from yes. him. Yes. Right. So the Bible is completed. Yes. So yes. Paul was saying, and I want you to see where he says it specifically, mm -hmm. if you would turn to Galatians 1 and 1. So we want to look at the apostles, okay? We want to look at the prophets. Galatians 1 and verse number 1. And Paul makes it clear. Paul, an apostle. Not of men. Pay attention, Paul says, men didn't call me. No man called me. Neither by men. Peter didn't send me. James, the church in Jerusalem, right, didn't send me. Right, right. Nobody. Nobody chose and sent me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go. I'm about to go, but this will be another lesson. Mm -hmm. Peter, I got to say this. Peter chose yes. a disciple yes. at Pentecost. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right. But that would have made 13 disciples. That's right. God honored. He threw a lot. That was Old Testament. Mm -hmm. God didn't embarrass Peter. He no, allowed yes. it. But guess right. what? Jesus down the road meet Paul because apostles are sent by God. So I want to tell you there are no more apostles. So you can stop calling yourself apostle. Repent. You need to repent if you're carrying the title of apostle. So he said, who raised him from the dead. Paul met Jesus on the road to Damascus. That's right. That's right. And if you look at Luke 6, we want to set up the apostles and then we want to go into the text. Go to Luke uh, chapter 6, chapter 6. And I, as you're turning there, I want to say this, that I should be a holy indignation. It's okay to repent when you've made dumb mistakes. I've made dumb mistakes. We all make dumb mistakes. But when you know better, you need to stop. Because the apostles are for the foundation of the church. You don't lay the foundation but one time. The foundation has been laid. And so much confusion has gone out into the earth. And it has gone out against the true Christianity. Because you have put titles there that unsaved people don't understand. And you didn't understand. And you are doing more damage to the body. Calling yourself a prophet. Calling yourself an apostle. Prophets' offices have been filled. We have the completed Bible. Does God still speak and tell you things? Miss Lutley can tell me something God told her. Yes, she can. He can still speak to Pastor Miss Dansby or any of you. And he can still, God is still speaking. But you are not a prophet. You're not a prophet. And when you get on the internet and you do all of these things, yeah. you're doing damages to the body and you're causing confusion because you're bringing it all back to Christianity. Amen. Amen. So in, in Luke chapter 6, we want to look at verses 12 through 16. Jesus chose the apostles. Apostles were all chosen by Christ. They saw Christ. He chose them. And it came to pass in those days, verse number 12, when he chooses the 12 apostles. And it came to pass in, these, in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray. People, if Jesus prayed, please start praying. We must pray. We must pray. He said, my house is a house of prayer. And continued all night in prayer to God. The Bible don't tell us what was his criteria ahead of time for choosing the apostles. But we do know he prayed all night. And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples. He called everybody because everyone is a disciple if you're coming into the faith. Amen. You're coming in to learn the apostles' doctrine. 
not religion, but the apostles doctrine. That is what the New Testament teaches. That is what the Bible teaches. So he called all of them. You as believers, when you become seasoned, you should be making disciples. You shouldn't be making church members. You should be sharing the gospel, making disciples. Disciples make disciples. So he called them and said unto him his disciples, and of them he chose 12. So there were others there, but he chose the 12 out of disciples, whom also he named apostles. Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, and John, Philip, and Bartholomew, Matthew, and Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called Jelalot, and Judas, the brother of James, and Judas is Cariot, which also was the traitor. Judas was the one yeah. that betrayed him right. and after Christ was crucified mm -hmm. and he saw Christ was going to die brother, yeah. he committed suicide. Right. So yeah. that left 11, 11. apostles right. that Jesus had chosen. Right. That's right. So when we look at what the Lord did here, I want you to look at Second at Acts 22. Acts We're going to follow Paul. Acts 22, verse 6 through 10. Acts 22, mm -hmm. verse 6. Let me put that here. Through 10. Okay, Acts 22. This won't be a shout message, but it will. Acts 22. And verses 6 through 10, Paul gives this testimony over and over about his conversion. Because I want to tell you something about the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul wasn't an apostate Jew. What he did, he did out of ignorance. He wasn't an unbelieving Pharisee. What he did... He did out of ignorance. He didn't know the truth and rejected it. No, no. So he wasn't a, a Pharisee that had turned against God. He did it ignorantly. The, many times we stay in sin and we live in sin. We're doing it ignorantly. Paul broke the first half of the Ten Commandments because he came against Christ. He came against God. Yes. Ignorantly. Mm -hmm. He broke the second he broke. half yeah, he because he was insolent. He was brutish against men and women. Right. So Paul broke the Ten Commandments. He did. He did. But he did it ignorant. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Paul said, I don't claim innocent for doing this. Right. This bothered Paul the rest of yeah, his yeah. life. He gave God 100% the rest of yeah. his life. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. He was on his way to Damascus mm -hmm. to persecute Christians. Christians that may have ran there, had got a letter from his buddies. Right. Because the world loves you when you are in darkness. Yeah, man. Man, that's right. He got a letter, no problem. Mm -hmm. But when he's on his way, right. he oh. met Jesus Christ. Oh, so I want you to look at 22 verses with for the time of say, because I got a few scriptures. 8 through 10, mm -hmm. he met Jesus Christ and 7 say he fell to, fell to the ground. Amen. And Paul did two things that you need to do this morning. Amen. He answered, who are you, Lord? You need to ask God who he is. You're sitting on the fence this morning. You need to know, ask him, Lord, who are you? And verse 10, he say, what shall I do, Lord? Those are the most two important questions a man or a woman can ask. Those are the most two most important questions. Who are you? You don't think he's real? Ask him. Pray. Dispute him. Pick up this book. Begin in Genesis. And come on to Revelation 
I give a challenge to the nation. I give a challenge to you all. Read it. Don't take the atheist word. Don't take different religion words. Ask him who he is. And what do you want me to do? Two of the most important questions you can ask. So God apprehends Paul and says, and said, what shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto him, arise. Go unto Damascus. Go on where you're going. But now where you're going, you're going with a mission. Because I am commissioning you. See, the office of the apostle is a commission office. By Christ, and there it shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do. That's a teach by itself, but we're going to try to follow just to see what God is saying in these first six verses. So I want you to turn to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. Come on now. 2 Corinthians. Corinthians. <laughs> And I want you to look at chapter 12, Check 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, and we want to look at verses number 12, 2 Corinthians 12, 12. Paul has been in Corinthia. He has been misused. He has been abused. He has gone through in Corinthia. Chapter 11, he gives his resume. Mm -hmm. He says, <laughs> he says, and it, when it, he said, and I answer, who art thou, Lord? He, when he gave his testimony, I'm, I'm sorry, I went back to 22. Well, in 11, he gives a tell about his shipwreck. Yes, right. Tells about how he'd been beat. Paul tells throughout Corinthians all he's gone through. Mm -hmm. He welcomed their challenge in him, whether he was an apostle. Right. But... Um, Let's see if I want. Of the Jews, he tell them five times received I forty stripes. Mm -hmm. He say, I don't stand on a stage mm -hmm. like these preachers on TV evangelists right. blowing on folks, right. touching them in the forehead and they falling down. Yeah. He said, I take off my shirt and you look at my stripes. I got beat for my testimony. I paid the cost to stand here and say, I am an apostle. Because I was commissioned from heaven. I was sent with a message. And God ain't, hadn't finished with me yet. That's why I'm in jail ministering. I'm winning souls in jail. In Ephesians, I'm winning souls. I'm writing to Philemon and telling him, I want you to Christ. Now, I want you to put the brother charge that I'm sending back Onesima to you. If he owe you some nicely you owe me because i led you to life eternal put it on my charge so now he tells about in journeys often in perils often ben hen uh nephew shared something beautiful he said here it is we living on this hotel Life of luxury, looking out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the Aegean Sea. Mm -hmm. And Apostle Paul was beat. He was he almost in, uh, drowned. He went through all of this trying to get the gospel. Mm -hmm. And we're taking people money. All right. what he said. What he selling said. hopes, dreams, and promises. Mm -hmm. It broke his heart. Right. Sin ought to break your heart now. Yeah. If you have not made a decision for God, yes, God is real, people. Amen. Amen. So Amen. here it is when Paul tells about his apostleship, 12, 12, mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 12, 12. He said, truly the signs of an apostle, awesome. they were wrought among you. You saw, yes. you saw it. Mm -hmm. And there were greater things that God was doing that you all didn't see, but you saw it mm -hmm. in all patience. Yes, you, saw it. you saw it all signs. Wonderful. You got preaching, I want to have a handkerchief. Right, right, right. Paul wasn't trying to sell handkerchiefs. Right. That was, the power, all I'm saying is the power God gave to Paul, that ended with the apostles. Right. All of this stuff that... 
evangelists, television evangelists are running around here trying to do. That was given to show that the kingdom of God had come. That was a part of the inauguration, the commissioning, the foundating of the gospel of the word of God. Signs and wonders, mighty deeds. Paul said all of these things. Yes, 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 yes. But then Paul writes mm -hmm. in 1 Corinthians, and I want you to look at 1 Corinthians 15 and verse um, 31. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and 31. 15 and verse number 31. Paul writes after he preached the gospel, which we will look at later. Paul said, I protest your rejoicing, which I have in Jesus Christ our Lord. Paul said, I die daily. You know what Paul was saying? I heard a Christian question that, that I said that one day. But you do your homework. What Paul was saying is, every time I go to jail, I may not come out of jail. Right. I die daily. I have given up my life for myself right. completely. Paul said, I heard the charge when Jesus said in Luke 9 and 23. Mm -hmm. I want you to see it. I don't want to quote it, but we're coming back to I die daily. On, Look at Luke chapter 9, verse 23. 9, 23. Nine and verses, verse 23. Mm -hmm. Say amen when you get there. Amen. Jesus say, and he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross daily and follow me. What was Jesus saying? If you're going to be my disciple, if you are in the apostles doctrine, or in the word of God and I am teaching you. First of all, you repent of your sin, you accept me, and you stop trying to live like everybody else. Stop thinking like everybody else. Don't be afraid to be different. Deny yourself. Deny yourself. You could do a lot of things, but choose to do what is pure, what is right, what is holy. We serve a holy God. We serve a holy God. So when Paul says in 1531, he said, I die daily in jail on those ships. One ship broke apart and he had to warn them not to go because God has spoken in his spirit through an angel. But they went out anyway. And when that, he told them what well, he say now, if you stay on the ship, don't try to run. There won't be no loss of life. Let me tell you so. When God is real, when he live in you, he speak in you. He talks to you. He speaks to your he speaks to your mind. You become like him. He leads you. He gives you directions for your life. You stop trying to look like you victorious, and he makes you victorious. Die daily. Be willing to look weak for him. Be willing to go through for him. Be willing to be denied for him. Paul said, I die daily. What was Paul saying? I, my life has been bought with a price. I don't own myself anymore. So in jail, I'm not depressed. In jail, I'm not asking Timothy now to sell some books and come get me out. No, 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 no. <laughs> in jail, Paul sings at midnight. See, I don't want to hear how much stuff you got and you blame that on God. I don't want to hear how you don't have no problem because you just believe you believe. I want to see somebody broken that still have joy. Then 
saying, I want to hear about your God. Yes, I want to hear somebody yes. that have lost a loved one, yes, yes. but still got the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Yes, the yes. reason this message is the, the identity, yes, sir. Of identity, the question, thank you, of identity. Yes, 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 My husband through a divorce wasn't who I was. Okay. If you've lost a husband, that's not who you are. Mm -hmm. If you are married, that's not who you are. That's right. That's right. If you are uh, uh, got a nice job, that's not who you are. Don't worry. Don't worry. The question of identity is your relationship yeah. with Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's who you are. Yeah. That's who Paul was. That's who Jesus called his 12 men out to send out. That's why Peter could say, uh, history, I've heard them say, he wouldn't get, they want to be crucified. No, no, uh, in, a sense, no. in a generous sense, no, but no, no, upside no. down. He didn't feel worthy of it. See, the closest you get to God for real, the less important you feel. And the more you understand, I die daily. There's some battles I could have won, but it would have messed up the, the rep, the, me representing my God. There's some victories I could have gotten some places sooner. But it would have meant a compromise. Uh, right, right. So I had to die daily hey, hey, because hey. I had those three kids that watching my life. That's right. That's right. It was one thing for me to talk about Christ. Yes, yes. See, everybody can shout when everything going good. Yes, Lord. Yes. But I overheard them t having a conversation. Uh -huh. Lula shared that she and Isaac had. She said, we didn't know we were poor. <laughs> <laughs> Bless their heart. <laughs> she said, we didn't. We, we didn't have cable one time. We watched Big Bird, and all of us knew the lines from Big Bird. <laughs> we were eating hot dogs every day, and my best friend was coming by every day. And she finally said, Lula, do y'all have anything other than hot dogs? She said, if you want to. She said, I've never seen nobody can fix hot dogs so many ways. She said, I told her. Listen, you can go home if you don't want one. She fixed a hot dog. All right, all right. And she had fun and kept coming. She said she laughed. I never seen a family could fix hot dogs so many ways. She and Isaac told her, I didn't know it either. Because the hope the foundation was on God. Yes, right. yes, yes. We laughed about the trials. We laughed together. Yes. We talked together. Yes. We prayed together. Yes. And the Lord let me know. I'm your husband. I'm teaching you. I'm taking you somewhere. I'm taking you somewhere. I wouldn't trade it for anything. So here go Paul now. Let's go to um, let's go to Jesus, the apostle, the great apostle. Hebrews, then we're gonna go and look at Colossians. Hebrews chapter three. Hebrews chapter three. See, every Christian will experience uh -huh. the yes. testing, yes. you will experience the breaking, Everybody. you will experience Everybody. some loss that would change your life. Yes. I often okay. said, okay. there are some scars, yes. but if I had to do it over to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, yes. I would do it all over again. Yes. Amen. I got to saw all of him. I didn't just see his hand. I saw his face. I felt his heart. He held my hand. He held me. See, what you're looking for in a person, single women, is in Jesus Christ. You can live holy for God. Let God be that person for you until he brings you yes, that person. Amen. Amen. They're pure for God. Yes, there are mothers that have brought people in their homes over their children. I have to say this. Because you got ahead of God. If you are alone, use your alone season to get to know Jesus. Your real identity. 
And before you know it, I, I've shared it with Chris, I've shared it with Leon, I, I believe I shared it with Leon. My daddy was strict about his girls. And now that I'm in relationship with Jesus Christ, my heavenly father is, he's strict about me. There are standards. And unlike with my dad, I understand these standards. The one thing the enemy tried to do and he thought, and that would have, should have did the blow. That would have taken me out. I've given my life. I'm trusting Jesus Christ. Amen. And he touched my 15-year-old daughter. Right. Okay. Okay. And yeah. many people are wanting, you're talking about abortion. Yes. 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 Many people are wanting to kill a baby mm -hmm. to cover a sin right. with another sin. Right. I had the choice to protect my image, you don't have no image. Yeah. Or to die daily yeah. and let people say, that's the single lady with a 15-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. But God, All right. All right. I chose to die yeah. to yeah. what I wanted, what I had, the dreams I had, yeah, and to cover her yeah. because I'm a believer. She needed to see Christ in me. Yeah. 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 Now, he forgive for abortions today, but she told me something that is priceless on the phone last week. She said, Mommy, had you asked me like the doctors asked you, did I want to have an abortion or did I want to? She said, my hormones was going crazy. I was 15 years old. I would have chose what I thought at the time. She said, but had you helped me cover that, All right. now I don't know if I would know Jesus Christ today. All right. All right. Because I would see Christ differently. That's the God you serve, but you're killing babies. He forgive. Repent if you have. But she said, I want to believe in Christ. She said, you know what made me believe in Christ the way I believe? I saw what you were willing to go through for love. I got offered. Yes. Nobody had written an offer to pay for nothing for me, but I got offered an abortion paid for. Right. Paid for that. Paid for because I was in church. Uh -huh. People, church people, right. who are you concerned about? Yes, is it Jesus Christ Amen. or is it yourself? I understand what Paul say. I Denied die you. daily. Yeah. I had to die. Yeah, to but that was my cross. That's good. That's good. That was my cross. That's good. That's good. That's good. That was my cross. I, I, I want you to look at our apostle, the great apostle, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Three and one say, mm -hmm. wherefore, holy brethren, this Hebrews. term is Hebrews, Hebrews uh, three. Three, three. Hebrews one. three yeah. and one. Mm -hmm. That's right. He said, wherefore, holy brethren. holy brethren, this is used only twice, holy brethren, First uh, Thessalonians, I think it is, 5 and 27 in here. Yes. And that's talking about believers whose home, whose citizenship is in heaven. Uh -huh. He said, wherefore, holy brethren, holy brethren. partakers of the heavenly yeah. calling, yes. consider the apostle. Mm -hmm. Consider the apostle. Consider Jesus Consider the apostle. Yeah. You know what Jesus was called an apostle? He was sent. He was commissioned yes. by the Father. Yes. Consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. Amen. Consider the fact that God sent him. And we're going to look at four reasons God sent him. Okay. Then we are going into the letter. Okay. But I can't leave this without time. saying how I admire my older sister, Leon's mom, okay. Herbert's mom. Mm -hmm. The doctors had said to her mm -hmm. that if she was to have a baby, mm -hmm. that she wouldn't live. Mm -hmm. So that meant her abortion was legal. So from both spectrum, a young person, a, 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 a older young lady, she chose to give life. She didn't try to consider what was going to happen. God had blessed his child ever since. I have seen his hands on him. 
He has many mothers. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Many mothers. There's no reason to disobey God. That's right. But if you have, it's not too late to repent. Oh, right. Amen. Amen. It's not too late to repent. Not too late. The first reason Jesus Christ was sent mm -hmm. as a high priest, mm -hmm. and my eyes are getting blurry, I'm sorry. Uh, apostle, I didn't bring them. <laughs> apostle and high priest yes. of our profession. Yes. Yes, Lord. Look at John 1, 18. Okay, John chapter 1, the first reason, first reason. Jesus came as an apostle. As an apostle. Uh -huh. In his apostleship, yes. Gospel of John, and I want you to look at verse number 18. Okay. John, 18. John 1, 18. 18. 18. Okay. Got it. The creator of, of the world that we met in Genesis, uh -huh. the one that spoke everything in existence, yes. Yes. no man knew him, who he was. Uh -huh. No man has seen God at any yes. time. The only begotten son which is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. Jesus came to declare yes. the Father. Yes. Remember, the apostles are sent out with a commission. Yes. Jesus is sent out with a commission. That's, right. That's why in John 14 and 9, mm -hmm. he turns around and answer Philip. Mm -hmm. Turn to John 14 and 9. And nine. Yes, John 14 and 9. Yes, Jesus answered Philip. Philip had said to him, Lord, show us the Father. And it suffices us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And I said thee, Thou thee, show us the Father. How do you say that? So he came to show the Father. Apostle Jesus came to, he was commissioned to show us the Father. That's right. That's right. Then he was commissioned to do away with sin. Mm. Go right. to Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews, nine. Hebrews chapter 9. Oh, they were enough. They were enough. Good night. And we're going to look at verses 24 through 26. For Christ is not entered into the holy place. Uh -huh. He take us back to the prophets in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Moses's and the temple, everything in the Old Testament was shadows. Yes, right. It was types. Symbols. symbols. Yes. It was at these things now are fulfilled in the New Testament. Uh, amen. For amen. Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, 24. which are the figures of the true, but into heaven itself. 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 Really? Now, to the real thing is in heaven, but the sanctuary, the, tab the tabernacle, that was a picture of what was in heaven. That's right. That was right. a picture. But now to appear in the presence of God Amen. for us. Nor yet that he should offer himself often. The Old Testament, here they are, they're killing animals every day. Blood, blood. First thing you saw when you walked into the gate, you're coming to the sanctuary. You see the altar. You had to go by the altar first. A sacrifice had to be made for sin. Have you been to the altar? Yes, Lord. There has to be a sacrifice for sin. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So you had to pass the sacrifice first. Before you can say, I know Jesus, and a lot of folks do not. I'm, I, we're just going to use the Old Testament. I want to paint them picture. Here's the sanctuary here with the curtains hanging. But before you can get to Jesus, a type of Jesus, the holy place, before you can get there, you got to pass the altar, the brazen altar. Then you got to come by the bronze laver, which represents the Holy Spirit. 
yes. and you get to the labor, yes. you yes. wash your feet, mm -hmm. you wash your hand, yes. you wash your face, uh -huh. you can see yourself now. The priest yes. is clean now. Yes. New Testament, you are believers, the priest of God. Yes, Lord. Now the priest can get a little closer, mm -hmm. but as he get into the holy place, yes. Yes. he go beyond the veil into the holy place. Now you're looking at the lampstand, the candlesticks, the light. And it said that the gold is so bright in there until it reflects over. The walls are covered with gold. It reflects over everything. And then you got to have the word. The bread is over here on the right side. Then you're on, you've, you're coming. You you've just come through. You're in Christ now. Uh -huh. You're there. Yeah. But there's more to just being right. there, oh, just being saved. Oh, yeah. See, there's another curtain right. that you got to go through. Yes, but before you get there, they got a, a mm -hmm. incense. Yes, they got the it's there and the prayer. The incense are going up, oh, going in. Yes, right. And, and there, you got to be able to be ready to take that blood uh -huh. because the only way you can come in the presence of the Holy God, yes, he has to see the blood of Jesus right. Christ on you. Yes, now, when we come back here uh -huh. to where we are now okay. with Hebrews, okay. with Jesus Christ, now he's revealed God to us. Mm -hmm. That's another message. He revealed God to us. Mm -hmm. Now he came to do away with sin. Yeah, right. So now I know why those old people say I can't live in sin right. and feel my Savior's love. Yes, right. And if you've been living in sin right. and feeling his love, I pray that the Holy Spirit will convict Amen. your heart today. Amen. Look Amen. if you would at 1 John 3 and 8. Come on, give me the third reading. 1 John 3 and verse Amen. number 8. Now look at the apostles. They writing the Bible for us. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We just looked at Hebrews. Mm -hmm. That's the apostles' doctrine. Yeah. We're looking now at the doctrine, the New Testament. Okay. Three and they say, he that com committed sin mm -hmm. is of the devil. Of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Yes, for this purpose, mm -hmm. the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the, the works. very works of sin. That's right. yeah, he right. came to, Jesus came down behind enemy territory. That's right. enemy territory. Called his men, 12 men, yes. behind enemy territory. Right, Look at it now. Satan built his little house oh, on the sand. The and the word of God, the Holy Spirit, come like a flood and washes, yes. began to wash yes. it away. Amen. Amen. The third reason he came was to pay the price of sin. We're yeah. going to look at two areas there. Okay. Third, let's look at 1 Peter 1 and 18. 1 Peter, First Peter 1 and 18. Mm -hmm. Say amen when you get there. Amen. First Peter 1 and verse number 18. For as much as you know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish without and without a spot. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And lastly, we want to look at Christ's commission, and we could go on, but we're going to look at Colossians chapter 2, okay. verse 14 and 15. Back to Colossians, right. and then we're going to look at the letter, quickly at the letter. Amen. Colossians chapter 2, good, good. and we want to look at verses 14 mm -hmm. and 15. 14 15. Okay. Blotting out, Blotting out yes, yes. the handwriting mm -hmm. of ordinances. That's why our apostle came. Yes, yes. That was against us, yes, which was contrary to us, right. and right. took it out of the way, nailing yes, it yes. to his cross. Oh, and having spoiled principalities That's and powers, right. mm -hmm. 
he made a show of them openly, openly. triumphing over them yes, sir. in it. Yes, sir. This Amen. took place approximately 2,000 years ago oh, yeah. when the judge, at the judgment seat, it was provided legal protection for you and I Amen. in Christ. We have legal protection. In Christ. In Christ. You are in enemy territory. Sure we are. You will have problems, yes. 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 but yes. you have legal protection yes. to go through whatever he allows to happen in your life. Now let's look at Paul writing this letter. He established that he is an apostle. We see he is an apostle. And that's not one today. Your church may have sent you. You can use the terminology I was sent. But you are not one of Jesus' original apostles. You're just some ministers. A matter of fact, we got to look there. Look at Ephesians, <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians 2. Let's cover this for doctrine's sake. Look at Ephesians chapter 2. They will now. They will. Christ, our cornerstone. Yes. Now, therefore, ye, 219, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and the household of God. And we are built, the church is built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. It's just for foundation. And it's only one. And Christ was laid there first when in Ephesians 1, we're not going to stay all day. So when he, with the grace of God, when by the grace of God, he elected who was going to be saved in eternity. Yes. Amen. Amen. Then he sent forth those that would hear the word. Many of you have heard a clarion call. That's a general call. But the effectual call is to call for salvation. And he says to them, upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. He's the one who holds this, this doctrine together. He's the one who holds the, the true Christianity together. Christ is the foundation. The apostles are built the there. Yes. The true apostles yes. are built there. Amen. In whom all the building fitly. Yes. You are living stones. Yes. Every time somebody gets saved, Peter says, and he said, you are living stone. You are put in the building. Yes, you are put in the building. Yes. You see where he's in whom all the building fitly yes. framed together. Rolled into a holy temple in, in the Lord, and whom ye are builded together for a habitation for God to live in. Most of the churches in America, God don't live in them because the preacher won't preach the doctrine. You're preaching experiences and you're preaching emotion. Preach the gospel. If the gospel go forward, false teaching yes, would have to step back. You know why there's so many false religion, false teacher, myth, mythical teachings coming out? Because you are not teaching the doctrine, yes, the apostles' doctrine. Yes, in whom you also are built together for a habitation of God through the, through Holy, the Spirit. Holy Spirit. And we got to look at this. Did y'all bring lunch? I'm just joking. <laughs> we can, Acts chapter 2, verse 42. And they continued steadfastly. This is the New Testament church. This is the church that Jesus builds. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and prayers. And prayers. What is their doctrine? Look at verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And that's the doctrine. Repent. Be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And ye shall receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Come on now. 
If you are believing yes. here today, yes, the Holy Spirit was given to you. He lives in you. But if you have lived in sin, and we have all fallen short at some time, perhaps you need to be restored. But perhaps you need to be rededicated. Because the Holy Spirit is the gift. Yes, and he stays there. Everywhere you've gone, you took him. Yes, Everything yes, you did, you took him. Yes, yes, so you yes, repent. Yes, man. Get those bones set back in place. Right. Yes, Look at what Paul says yes, here yes, to the Colossians as he write them. Because he's reminding them of their identity. Right. Before the falsehood get there, he's telling them, remember, know your identity in Christ. If you done messed up and you were a believer or a believer, because yes. you don't have to get re-saved. No, no. No, no. But Jesus washed the disciples' feet. Yes. He said, your feet, you need to be washed. So you need to be put back in the position. Yes. Yes. Don't go on with business as usual. Amen. That's your feet. Though. That's your feet. Peter wanted a bath. He's not giving you no baths. He, he died one time for you. He just needs to clean you up, restore you, and put you back in service again. To the saints and faithful brethren. Let's look at verse uh, number two. And I can't skip the fact he acknowledged Timothy because Timothy loved the Lord. Right. Timothy was his co-worker. Uh, I went back up to one, but we're going to look at two. Okay. We're looking back at one and two of um, Colossians. Colossians. Uh -huh. His co-worker, his brother. We ought to be more co-workers. I ought to live a life where we see each other the way he saw Paul, Timothy. Right. But he didn't see every believer that way. Mm -hmm. But he saw something special in Timothy. That's right. That's Verse number two, to the saints and faithful brethren. That's all one person. That's saints right. and faithful brethren in, in Christ, Christ right. which is at Colossae. Colossae. Grace be unto you mm -hmm. and peace. Paul often used this grace, grace. because he knew it was the grace of God. Yeah that picked him up, right. forgave him of his yes. sin yes, That's right. with no merits of his own. Right. Right. It was pure it's grace. grace. Paul right. threw out grace. His yes. greeting was grace yes. and peace. Mm. That's why he was an ambassador for Christ. Yes. He had been brought back to God. Yes. When you're reconciled back to God, yes. Yes. you yes. have that peace that come because of the grace you have because of your salvation. Yes, sir. Unmerited favor that God save you yes, sir. Mm -hmm. purely because he loved you. Yes, and he loved you while you were out there in sin. Amen. Amen. So when you accepted him, he had already chosen you, predestined you in eternity That's past. Great. That's, great. That's, great. That's great. It caught up with you when you came back or you got saved. It caught up. Yes. And then if you're going through something, I love the fact that grace kind of step out yes, and flexes. Yes. He said, told Paul one day when Paul asked him, help me out in this area. Right. Asked you three times, Lord. He said, Paul, my grace is sufficient. He strengthened you in where you are. Some things he may not move because he may want to allow you to glorify him in that area. And he said, my grace, the uh -huh. fact that yes. you got my grace, I have forgiven you, I've saved you, yes. I am going to live through you yes. Yes. and through your weakness, yes. Yes, through what people see in you and they're saying, oh, poor so-and-so. Mm -hmm. But look at his testimony. Yes. Through your yes. weakness, yes. I'm made strong. Yes. Chuck, you're making Jesus strong. Amen. You're making Jesus strong. Yes. When you're going through, you're yes. making them strong. Right. Lula, when you're going through Miss Stansford, right. when you're going strong. through myself, That's we are making God. Jesus strong. Right. To people, they may see it one way, yeah, but yeah. you're making Jesus strong yeah. because you're giving him glory, glory. Yeah. in what you're going through. Right. He God. says here, mm. now let's look at it since he told them how Come peace on, yeah. and uh, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. See, Apophorus 1 and 7, as I told you, this brother was from Colossians yes, yes. 1 and 7. 
as she also learned of Epaphras. Paul acknowledged that I didn't bring you this gospel mm -hmm. message mm -hmm. that he brought to you. Yes. But I'm the apost apostolic behind that. My calling from God is the power behind this, the Hallelujah. apostolic. Yes. Yes, sir. He Lord. says, our dear servant who is for you, he is a faithful minister, minister of Christ. Of Christ. Yes. You know why Paul could call him a faithful minister of Christ? Look at Four, same chapter. Look at 4 and 12. Go to chapter 4 and 12. 4 and 12. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluted you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers. How often do you pray for people that just got saved? It's difficult for young believers. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 You take their hand and you do spoke and now they're on their yeah. way. Yeah. Do you yeah. tell them to read their Bible? Yes, All right. Do you, if you suggest maybe if they don't know where to start, yeah. a good place to begin? Right. 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 Do you leave it open? You got questions? Uh -huh. Call me. Get somebody. Get some, ask one of the believers here. If you, I can sign somebody, they may need to go through some scriptures with you Amen. to help you understand it clearly. Yes, 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 yes. Do pray. Start praying. Yes. You getting out of bed, you need to start praying. Mm -hmm. You're making decisions, you need to start praying. Amen. Amen. Satan dreads prayer. Yes, yes, he don't mind you having a ministry if you don't pray. He don't mind you working for the Lord if you don't pray. He don't mind you doing good for a while if you don't pray. But he shivers. He hates prayer. We need to tell them. He says, salute all of you laboring fervently for you in prayer that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. How often we see people, they don't get complete. Perfect mean mature. They forever coming, but they never mature in the faith. Never growing up. It's time now. We want better. Let's look at the prayer Paul prayed. And I believe Epaphras joined in in this prayer. Go back to one and and. And three, where we were looking, yeah. and we're going to skip down and read the prayer okay. on this page. Verse 9 through 14 is Paul's prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease, do not cease to pray for you okay. and to desire that you might be filled Feel. with the knowledge of his will. Amen. In our wisdom oh, and spiritual understanding. Paul was not praying for you to have a mental, just oh, a mental right. knowledge. Yeah. Paul said, I want you to understand yeah. the Bible. Right, right. I want you to know what these scriptures are saying and how to apply these scriptures yeah. to yeah. every situation, every circumstance. Everything happened in your life, you yeah. can go back to the Bible on All it. Right. You got a marriage problem, yeah. open the Bible. Go yeah. back to the Bible. Oh, yeah. You, you're lonely. Go back to the Bible. You got financial issues. Go back to the Bible. You got problems in Washington that is sin. Go to prayer and open your Bible. He says in, in 10, verse 10, he said that you might walk worthy of the Lord. Walk like you belong to Christ. Live like you belong to Christ. Live like you have been with Christ in a relationship for real. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The world is looking for the real Christians real to stand, stand up. Right. Unto all pleasing, mm -hmm. being fruitful, fruitful in every good work. Mm -hmm. That fruitfulness is people should be getting saved around you. All right. All right. You don't have to bring them to church and get them to church. When you send your private conversation, you ought to be talking to the Lord, with the, about the Lord with them in such a way that the believer will want to know about your God. And sometimes it may be what he don't want you to say, but how you act with them when they're coming against you. Because I'm going to tell you something. I've seen it for many years when I was working. 
The very people that are coming at you yeah. and picking and playing with your religion, mm -hmm. very people, when life happened to them, I, I got to I gotta say this, I got to share this, and I don't know where she is today, but I pray that she got saved. Mm -hmm. This was when people started first coming out for being openly gay on my job. And I remember one, of the, one thing, one girl, they were talking about some things, and God came to save these people, all of us. We're all messed up. Yeah, so I, I, this is not throwing shade, but the fact that it was something I said about Jesus, and it was made fun of. Mm -hmm. This girl will use that little thing, and I won't call her name in case she ever hear this, because she'll know who she is. But she would always kind of laugh, and I heard she had made them laugh on the line about something I had said yeah. about mm -hmm. Jesus. That was fine. I'm sitting at my desk one day, and it was her last day at work. I had just bought me a Bible, and I had it on my desk. She came in, and she was looking like a guy. And she said, Miss Rose, it is my last day. I said, okay. I got up and hugged her because I didn't hate her. I hated the sin. Oh, right, I hugged her. And she said, I wish I could read the Bible. And Lula going to laugh and funny about my books. I said, listen, if I give you this Bible I just bought this weekend, <laughs> don't impress me and take my Bible. If you don't want it, please leave it here because I really want it. I say, but if you want to read it, I say, this will give you some clarity. Okay. I said, I just bought this Bible, so don't take it <laughs> if you don't want it. Don't, please don't do it. She said, I do. I gave it to her, and I took her to Romans 126, I think it was. I told her, and I just say, Sarah, I'm not calling her name. I said, you may look like a guy. You may walk like a guy. I said, but you are not a guy. Right. I said, right here, and I took her to the scripture. I said, Jesus came to die for your sin as well as my sin. Right. I said, Ms. Rose had been praying, and I pray that you would get in here and, and learn of him. Right. And only he can change and give you that new nature. Because all of us, Paul said, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. Before Christ, we are all messed up. Right. So there is hope for the laws. Yes, she left her with the Bible that day. I pray she took it. If not, I pray for her. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I gave her that Bible, and I thought, now, I did not want to give her that. But I knew she said she wanted to learn. Yes. And I pray one day I come across her, and God have done. He's able. He's able to do it. So look, if you would, number uh, uh, where was I? I stopped in the middle. I'm sorry. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power unto yes. all patience yes, and long suffering mm -hmm. with joyfulness. Yes, yes. In other words, learn how to do. Paul, so I'm praying that as a Christian, you learn how to endure. Yes, yes. And then you learn how in, to endure what you're going through. Mm -hmm. And have long suffering for people with nasty attitudes. Right. People with bad attitudes. He said, I want you to have right. long suffering right. with them. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The yeah. first is love. Right. Yeah. Joy, peace. And I think then comes long suffering, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Giving thanks unto the Father which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance mm -hmm. of the saints in light. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness. If you are born again, you have been delivered. Yes. Now you may be going back in and out of darkness, but you have power yes. Yes, not to have to go back into yes. that area yes. again. Yes. And has translated us into the kingdom yes. of his dear son. Yes, Mission accomplished. Jesus came behind the enemy line yes, and brought the kingdom yes, with sir. men to men. In, yes, whom, in, in our hearts, mm -hmm. in whom we have redemption yes, through yes, his blood. Even the forgiveness of sin. Since we heard of your faith in Christ, back to one and four, Jesus, mm -hmm. and the love which you have to all the saints, mm -hmm. for the hope yes, which is laid up for you in heaven, mm -hmm. whereof you've heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Yes, we're going to look at Paul's gospel, and then we're going to talk about the hope, 
And that'll end this um, teaching, but turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, if you would. And remember, people, it's about the doctrine. Stop, start talking about the doctrine and not about the feeling and the emotion and all of this. If you teach, if the poor pit would teach the doctrine, teach what the apostles taught you and get what the apostles got. Preach the word of God. First Corinthians 15, mm -hmm. and when Paul talks about the gospel here, he began in 3, and Paul talks about the gospel in Colossians, he's talking about here. Yes. He said, For I delivered unto you, first, first of all, all, that which also I received, that is. How, the, how that Christ died for our sins. Mm -hmm. That's the gospel. That's Jesus Christ sin. was sent. He was commissioned into the world to come and find the people that his father had given him yeah, fix the sin and yeah. fix the sin problem yeah. Yeah. No. according to the scripture Isaiah 53 mm -hmm. that's one of the scriptures oh, where yeah. he talks about oh, that oh, yeah. and that he was buried mm -hmm. see this this is what you we need to pay he was buried and that he he didn't stay buried he didn't just die for your sin no, no, no. but he rose again yeah. The third day, how? According to the scripture, according to what the, the prophet said in the Old Testament, Amen. Testament, Amen. testimony, and that he was seen of Cephas, uh -huh. then of the twelve, uh -huh. and that he was see, seen of above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greatest part remained until present day. present day, talking about back then at that time, many of them were still there, but some are falling asleep, all of them now. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. He went back to the men he had commissioned and had given the revelation and, and to be completed to. By, uh, he went back to them. And last of all, he was seen of me on my way to Damascus when he apprehended me and commissioned me and brought me into the fold. Also as of one born out of due time. We're going to close right here. We're going to close right here. But let's look at one thing as we close. We're just... Okay. We just tie that in one thing. Okay. We'll go back to Colossians. Okay, back to Colossians. We'll go back to Colossians. Mm -hmm. And remember, walk worthy of the Lord. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God. Amen. And Timothy is our brother. Yes. Look how brought, Paul brought this mm -hmm. information. Just those first six verses. Yes. But what blessed me is that we're seeing again yes. all of the fa false religions of the world. So and they're popping up. So this is man-made uh, a man-made religion, a way of seeking a righteousness mm -hmm. of his own yes. apart from God. That's right. They're putting God's name on it. Name we on it. teach the doctrine right. of That's Jesus Christ. Right. We Amen. teach the doctrine, the apostles' the apostles. doctrine. Yes. We teach the Bible, the Amen. whole Bible. Amen. This just didn't start with New Testament. If you look at uh, Genesis 12 and 3, and we're not going to expound, but I want to show you something that it began in Genesis That's chapter right. 12, 12 3. verse 3. Right. When the Lord spoke to Abraham, he said, I will bless thee. Right. I will bless right. them that bless thee yes. and curse him that curse curses thee. thee. And in thee shall all the families all of the, the earth, earth be blessed. Amen. Families of the earth are getting saved now. Yes. Salvation, I believe, will go out from yes. Zion. Uh -huh. God people Amen. will start doing what we're supposed to do. Right. Being Amen. disciples that make disciples. Amen. Praying for people. Yes. Let's go before the throne. Father, as Bless I close Lord. out today, Bless this Lord. is just to touch that yes. the doctrine is very important. Mm. Many false religions are up 
yeah. are coming up because the doctrine is not being taught yes, in your churches. Yes, Lord, thank you for the foundation thank of the Lord. apostles yes, that you gave us, Father God. Yes. What a mighty foundation. Yes, and Lord, Lord, thank you for the chief cornerstone. Mm -hmm. Lord, we want to just praise you and thank you. Thank you and I pray that men and women will start picking up these Bibles, yes, blowing Lord. the dust off of yes, them, yes, reading your word, yes, crying out to you in prayer. And become the women and men of God that we're supposed to be in Jesus' name. Let them find their true identity in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.